This is Twit. Much like my co-host on Tech Things, Shannon, when I forward her to the news, they, I'm going to quote Ars Technica here. Uh, Researchers reveal seemingly unpatchable vulnerability in NVIDIA Tegra chips that make currently available Nintendo Switch consoles hackable. Newly published Tegra boot ROM exploit could be a big headache for Nintendo and others. And uh, Could be. It already is. Well, yeah, but I mean, you know, the, there's there's pain and there's pain because kind of immediately as this was rolling out, uh, within minutes, or I should say days, right, there's a couple of updates on the story at Ars Technica. Um, uh, you know, Failover uh, released its own show of VL2 Tegra X1 boot ROM exploit alongside a Nintendo Switch Linux loader. Um, you know, so... It's pretty crazy, right? Uh, they had been holding a 90-day respons- responsible disclosure. I'll quote. Uh, fail overflow alleged it had been holding to a 90-day responsible disclosure window for show of EL2 ending on April 25th since another person published the bug. So close to our declared deadline, we're going to wait things out. Stay tuned. Uh, and they were also saying that uh, you know they had like a Dolphin emulator running on it, running Legend of Zelda Windwalker on a Nintendo Switch. But this is, this is a a pretty big kind of crazy deal. Um, hardware hacker Catherine Temkin uh, and Reswitch, they basically have this full extensive outline. Uh, Fuse Gele, the cold boot vulnerability, and uh, and a whole proof of concept payload for uh, for the Switch. Um, Ktemkin.com. All you, do is, all you do is short two pins in the USB connector. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, man. One thing people That's do just... note, you know, it is easy to bork hardware um, because so much of it, so much of the the processor is controlled uh, in software. It's really easy to trash the soft or trash, make a mistake in in the software, your modifications of it that will destroy the hardware you're playing with. Um, but uh, uh, Ms. Tempkin has a great, I should say, Temkin, not Tempkin, Temkin. Um, Ktemkin.com has a whole fact up there on the Fuse Gele, which I'm probably saying poorly. Um, but it's pretty amazing. Uh, she pulled together a fact from Twitter, from Reswitched, a web forum, um, and it's uh, it's pretty crazy. And and you know, for people who think a lot about disclosure, um, it was responsibly disclosed. It was disclosed at first to Nvidia uh, and then to vendors like Nintendo as a courtesy. Uh, and one of the big questions on that, if you think about hardware security is, you know, quote, why disclose this at all? Why not hold on to this in order to increase the number of affected Switch consoles? And uh, Ms. Temkin says, unfortunately, this bug affects a significant number of Tegra devices beyond the Switch and even beyond the X1 included in the Switch. I can tell you it wasn't fun to find a bug with such a broad impact. It significantly complicated the ethics involved. And uh, she thought it best to disclose this immediately and under terms that ensured that the vulnerability reached the public quickly because of the potential for a lot of bad to be done by any parties who independently discover these vulnerabilities. Um, you know, it's uh, it's a really good read and a really interesting read, especially if you're kind of curious about security and, and some of the, you know, the downsides. You know, she points out th- there was no there was no bounty, there was no money, there was no reward for the vulnerability. Um, she also hasn't signed any NDAs uh, related to it, um, so she can talk about it. But this is... Um, Quote, the relevant vulnerability is the result of a coding mistake in the read-only boot ROM found in most Tegra devices. This boot ROM can have minor patches made to it in the factory, eye patches, but cannot be patched once a device has left the factory. Um, so, you know, this is, she also points out why as horrible as this sounds, it may actually be a good thing. Um, but this is something that will be hard-baked into all the switches, or is currently hard-baked into all the switches. So... Um, you bet they're changing. You bet they're changing that bit. 